Well, this is a response to a recent video on Sexual Futurist. Uh, a couple of years ago, I'm at a job interview and uh, one of the women there uh, had blurted out that she was raped at one point to someone she'd known from a previous job who was in the job interview. And at the smoko downstairs, as there always is, I talked to one of the women and I said, well, yeah, I know a fair bit about that, unfortunately, and the implication I thought was pretty clear, and she got it, and then she turns around and with this rough, almost fearful, now I think back on it, look in her eyes, and massively defensive, she says, yes, well, I know about sexual assault too, and she basic, basically stared, stared at me like, she was just daring me to try and invalidate her. And I've... And that hurts when you haven't been able to really open up to much of anyone about what happened to you. And... The minute you don't fall into a... You know that, it's a dog. Pre-designated category of... The acceptable victim. People shut you down. They invalidate you. I think that's a toxic attitude that's being propagated by certain elements in uh, Western society that... Well, like... Yeah, I know it's kind of a whipping, whipping girl for uh, men's rights activists and other people, however... The radical feminists, I'm not talking about the reasonable, normal rank and files, I'm talking about the radical feminists, the fish in a bicycle sort, you know? They create a clique using a shared experience, and they do the exact same thing that people with narcissistic personality disorder and who are prone to emotional abuse will do. They will shut down uh, your communication links to other groups. You're going from one form of abuse to a much, much more subtle form of abuse if you take that path. And in the meantime, instead of sharing experiences and learning and gaining more insight into the problem and, God help us, finding a way to immunize society against us, no! You're holding on to the one thing that everyone uh, gives you a free ride on because emotionally it validates you. Emotionally it feels good. And that's just not healthy. And if people want to know why I'm making this response, particularly to sexual futurists, it's not just for my uh, benefit. It's to go out to any male and there are men out there who uh, has gone through sexual assault or rape or anything else and has basically had everyone just tell him to man up, get over it. It doesn't count because you're a guy. Well, it counts. And there are some people who've made a very good living in perpetuating the gender warfare and the battle of the sexes. And they're not intending to give gender equality, they're just rooting for the superiority of their team, whatever team that is. Oh, and if you're transgendered, forget about it. Forget about it. Nobody helps out the transgender community in that regard. So yeah, we can branch out and we can accept each other's experiences and learn from them and feel more connected. We can shut all the doors and victimize ourselves by holding onto an ever dwindling resource instead of creating one that grows. Well, that's how I see it. Anyhow, I'm Ozzie Griffin and I hope this has educated everyone. It actually makes me feel a little bit better just to say it.